Hey guys, my name is Sandra de Vries and I'm just going to be quickly showing you a very short video on how to connect MIDI controllers to any parameter in FL Studio 11. I'm sure this option is also available in previous versions of FL Studio or Fruity Loops, but I cannot guarantee this. So the first, op first thing you need to make sure is to check in the options and MIDI settings and look in the import look in the input section for the MIDI port that you will be using. So I myself am using virtual MIDI controllers. Uh, the program I'm using for this is called Loop MIDI, which is what's needed if you're using um, MIDI controllers such as uh, the iPad or even the Leap Motion hardware. Uh, so once the loop MIDI is downloaded, all you have to do is press the plus button and here's a new virtual port that's ready to be used. So in settings we can now rescan for MIDI devices and here it is. So we want to make sure that this is enabled and now it's connected to FL Studio. However, it is not connected to any specific parameters yet. So the next step to do is simply to make sure this bar is there. This is called the recording panel. So if it's not there, then just right click on the toolbar and click on recording panel. You can also go to view and then toolbars and it's also there. In here, click on multi-link to controllers or also control J. Now change whatever parameter you want to change. So we're going to be changing the low cut uh, of the fruity reverb. So all we'd have to do is change it. Now all we would have to do next is actually adjust the MIDI controller and Fruity Loops will automatically recognize that this, uh, that this MIDI controller is now it's dedicated to that effect. So now when I move it up and down the controller changes as well. If I now want to change the effect of this MIDI controller, if I want this MIDI controller to be connected to something else, all I would have to do is press Control J or click on this button again, change for example the volume, and then add the MIDI controller again. And now the MIDI controller is dedicated to that volume and you can see that the low cut no longer moves.